Does it help Colin Kaepernick's cause if he doesn't play again? Uh, in, in so many respects, I think it does. And it's so f- interesting you say that because I was thinking back to a time I was on this show in the fall of 2017, and you asked me if I thought he would get signed for the coming season, and I said no, and um, you were surprised, and then I hedged a little bit, and there was this idea, well, of course he's going to get signed because someone is going to need him. But it's like as the months have gone on and as he hasn't been signed, the memory of a quarterback who is probably on on the who who is just um, the memory of a quarterback who you would not say was in the Tom Brady class yeah. has faded, and this iconic status has developed. I mean, he's he's at Harvard today accepting a W. E. B. Du Bois Award. I mean, so so the legend has grown, and in so many respects, it's helped him for whatever he wants to do in the years ahead. Why is he not doing interviews? That's a great question. I mean, I, I have theories about that. I mean, because I've certainly tried to interview him, and I've contacted him and asked. But he's writing a book, I believe, I, and that's what I was told, that he's saving everything for the book. For the, saving everything for the book, and he also has a, a television series about his, his high school years that he signed with Ava DuVernay, the, the director of, sale, uh, of Selma, and so, so I, I think that there, there's this idea that the mis- like from him and the people around him that that the mystique and symbolism of him matters more than anything he has to say. That's what they've kind of figured out. And it's hard to disagree with them because it's almost like the less he says, yeah. the more curious people are about him. I mean, he did this uh, thing for GQ magazine where he was named there, I think, like sports uh sports person of the year in some respects. Um, And he didn't do an interview with him. He was just a pictorial and other people wrote essays about his meaning to them. And it's, it's savvy in a way that I think it's almost like the anti Ali it's, it's, it's Sphinxian almost where the less he says, the more you're curious about what he wants to say. He's the Mona Lisa smile of activist (laughs) athletes. For more Dan Patrick show, tune to audience channel 239 on direct TV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.